Wendy, would you like to tell us just a little bit about who you are? Uh, my name's Wendy LeBlanc Arbuckle, and I'm here in Asheville. And um, I'm just really excited to talk with you. Hmm, I'm glad to see you. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about what called you to the Seasons of Womanhood program. Well, um, you know, it was interesting. I, I've i thought about it before. You know, I've gotten, well, I, I actually had done some programs with Cater hmm. that I'd loved and some things with my husband with Cater. And um, so I was very familiar, but uh, when I got your email about the year-long opportunity, I really started looking at, huh, so what are the what are these archetypes? Oh, that's interesting. That can actually morph into a deeper awareness of um, the July program, which was a, a, another an immersion for five days, and then how that builds toward the um, the solo and the the vision quest. You know, there's, there's this whole experience, and I've thought about a vision quest for years, but just um I don't think it just wasn't called that I knew immediately as I read that email I just said I'm in and um and I just immediately started thinking of what I was afraid of <laughs> what I thought it was time to actually look at and confront and and to allow myself to be supported in, hmm. you know, rather than avoid hmm. um, or withdraw or, hmm. you know, think that I'm, you know, you just, you should do it, but you don't have enough, whatever, you know? Yep. <laughs> so it was, um, yeah, it was definitely a, it's time. Yeah. Yeah, so I hear a, a readiness from you. Yes. You were already thinking about it, um, ready to look at the things you were afraid of. Um, but also I hear a willingness, maybe even a longing to be supported. I to was. receive that nourishment yeah. from others. I really felt, I felt in your words and your invitation, a deep trust. Hmm. I knew that immediately that I think that means a lot to me, you hmm. know, that um, just what is that allowing myself to be very vulnerable, um, to be in places where uh, I feel, you know, maybe afraid or, you know, those feelings. Am I with people who actually have cultivated hmm. a deep nest? <laughs> that I, I feel like I could just kind of rest in or fall into or or even be able to talk about anything that came up, you know? And that was, that just was there. I have to tell you, Kat, I mean, I, I still, I get kind of teary-eyed when I think about it. Just the, the level of relationship, mm -hmm. the level of love and support that you and your team have for one another and create for us hmm. is extraordinary hmm. thank you i love that idea of a nest yes. oh, i never thought of it as a nest but yeah it is yeah. that holding yeah yeah and something that i think among women in our culture is has been taken from us that yes. idea that we could hold each other safely in yes. that way yes yeah rather than hmm. just be competitors yes Oh, right. Yeah, I hear yeah. you. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah. So I know we went through we went through many experiences together as we went through the nine months of the program. I'm curious what stands out for you. What what experiences were either most powerful or, or really stay in your memory that you want to share with people? Well, <laughs> there are there are, are several that were really just wow for me. Uh, the first two were in the July immersion, where we actually took one another through the death process, hmm. the process of being, of, of actually burying one another was extraordinary. 
mm. so beautiful. And Joanna and I are still that we've just developed mm. this beautiful friendship out of that experience of being there for one another and holding one another in that way. Mm. So that was that was magnificent on so many levels. And the other was really funny because when we were we were experiencing the different elements, and when fire came up, and I'm thinking. Well, fire, that's really interesting. Let's see what we're going to do. We're going to do something light, something that's fun. And, I get, and suddenly, you know, it was somebody asked, you know, well, who has fire walked? And I thought, I, I just immediately looked over and I said, you are fucking kidding. <laughs> <laughs> because the truth for me was so many friends have said, I just went fire walking and I went, wonderful. That's just great. No desire to do it. <laughs> There I, I just thought, oh, the irony of spirit, you know, it's like, what about fire walking, Wendy? <laughs> so that was great. It was really great. Once again, the setup was so great mm -hmm. and the process was so great. So it was really just a, a win, a win, mm -hmm. you know, Beautiful. a deep learning. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you went from being cold in the, in the earth to leaping across the fire very much oh, alive. <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah. And then, um, and then the process, the process of the vision quest was so extraordinary. And first of all, I have to tell you that the process, I even brought some just to kind of share, but the process of making little prayer mm. ties was magnificent, was a deep, deep, Ah, calling people, calling mm. friends, calling family members, and just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm blowing prayers for you into these little, little bundles, and um, I'm going to be saying prayers for you. I'm going to hold you as I go on the mountain, and they were just like, ah, oh, thank you. That is so beautiful, and if you'd light a candle and just kind of keep me in your thoughts and I'm keep all of us who are out there in our I said absolutely and people still talk about lighting the candle mm -hmm. and being there you know and how and I just remember going to the solo spot that we we each chose and putting I put I made hundreds of them and putting them all around the front of the the um, space and how much I felt held mm -hmm. by angels mm -hmm. just being there it was it was really 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 extraordinary hmm. and the process of the daily drinking cold water on a cold windy day it's so out of my <laughs> it's like I don't like cold water <laughs> but I'm gonna do it because <laughs> it's what we're doing <laughs> it was so great you know to just shift those I don't like and I'm not mm. doing so great mm. and then uh, then i had that incredible process of deep ancestral healing mm. that you so supported me through uh which was which was so magnificent um of, of on the third day of my quest that evening suddenly my my left hand just got so frozen and and deeply painful and i thought what is going on but i thought well maybe it's just the cold or something so i went to sleep but woke up the next morning still there frozen and really painful so i thought i'm going in i just want to take care of myself and walked in and you were there by the fire and i was shared with you what was going on and you said well would you like to see a doctor you know and i I thought, well, well, you know, at this point, what would a doctor do? You know, this, I don't know what's going on here. So let's just go. Uh, anyway, we talked more. And then you, you said something that was so wonderful. You said, because oh, I said, there's a story that's come up. Mm -hmm. And I shared the story of my mother and father and, and how this just meeting in Australia. He was, he was during the war that he was. A marine and he had malaria and he was sent to australia 
And um, anyway, he wooed my mother and and um, then he went back after the war and we lived and I was born there and my sister four years younger than me that were born there. And he received a letter from his sister saying in New Orleans saying, um, you know, your, your father wants to see you because uh, he's dying. And my dad, who had been hated by his father and never had just yearned for a relationship, said, we have to sell our house. We have to sell and we have to go to New Orleans. And my mother was like, well, so abruptly, you know, hmm. but um, anyway, they used all their money to go over to New Orleans. They got there and found out that it was a lie that his sister had just wanted him home. Hmm. So my mother was devastated by this. And what I realized, I said, you know, Kat, it's so interesting. This is my left hand, this is mother. And, you know, this story, and my mother still at 95 talks about this pain that she, that this wound. And you said, have you ever done a ritual around that story? Hmm. And I thought, no, I haven't. You said, well, go back. If you're, if you're, if this calls to you, go back to your, your solo spot and begin to carry, get, collect just whatever you can that can create the journey from Australia to New Orleans and just make it really real for yourself and then put and, 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 and put at either end two very shiny stones that represent your healthy ancestors. And when you're finished, bring anything that can burn back to the fire. And so I went back and that's what I did. I just recreated it in my mind and, and, and in, the, in the flowers and the boughs and the leaves and everything that I found and just created this journey, my parents and us back to New Orleans. And then I gathered things together, brought them back to the fire. And as soon as I placed those different natural things in the fire, my body started shaking and I began to just sob, and just sob and sob and sob. And it was just so, so incredible. I just went on and on and on. And finally I just said, oh, I've got to lie down. And we went back and got my sleeping bag. I went back to my tent and I just laid down for a while. And when I got up, walked outside, and suddenly I realized my hand was completely back to normal. Mm -hmm. Everything had completely changed. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I had gone through, and I had, I'd gone through a portal, a portal of, of deep healing. Mm -hmm. And I could feel it with my mother. I still can feel it today, mm -hmm. you know, of um, my relationship with my sisters is deeper. Um, the relationship with my husband is deeper. There's just, uh, there's like been like a, a letting go of a deep sadness that I didn't realize I was carrying. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. You know? Thank you for sharing that story. Yes. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for the space that you create mm. that is so incredibly healing and nurturing, loving. It's just extraordinary. Mm, thank you. Yes. Thank you. And it takes people like you with courage, those that are willing to look at those things they're afraid of and have been avoiding mm. and say, okay, it's time. Mm. It's time. I'm going to step mm. in. And also the courage to go and speak to all your friends and neighbors and all the people in your community and take their prayers with oh, you. Oh, that was a gift. It was yeah. a gift. And it, yeah. I, it, it brought us closer. Yes you know, yeah. because it was such a gift for both of us. Right, you know? right. And although you're out there on your own for four days and four nights, it sounded like you felt held by that community as well as the circle of us that were there by the fire. Very much so. Yeah. 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 And what I hear in your story is that as that, as you took in those relationships in the, not a rational conscious way, but somehow those permeated into you during those four days and 
you're stepping you've stepped out into deeper relationships with those that are close to you yes now. yeah yeah i think a, a much more deeper cherishing mm. in so many ways beautiful. you know yeah that's yeah. such a beautiful world word mm. cherishing yeah mm. wonderful anything else that you feel has changed for you i know it wasn't that many months ago that we we did this is not mean all that much time to integrate but anything else you notice that's different since taking the program um you know i i think i have less fear mm -hmm. you know i just don't i notice that i'm not as afraid if i get lost mm -hmm. i used to i used to really get upset if i was lost somewhere mm -hmm. you know there was something terrifying about it and it's from my childhood that things would happen you know mm -hmm. But um, but I just find that uh, I just feel more supported mm. now. It's like I feel it's I like I feel the natural world with me, yeah. you know, and it, which is really that was my purpose and, and really another purpose and really going on this quest was, you know, to have a deeper relationship with nature. Mm. Yeah. So that's beautiful. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time to share this with me. It's good to hear a recap, although I was there for many of those moments. It's good to hear a recap and yeah. to be able to share this with other people who may be thinking about taking the program. Yeah, but I would I would just deeply encourage people to jump, mm -hmm. just to jump. You know, if you feel any any kind of calling, trust it. Mm. really trust it you will just be so glad you did <laughs> beautiful thank you wendy thank you thanks cat i love you oh